Hey guys, so I have another meal prep for you today. Um, today I am going to do an Asian style meal prep, I guess. Meal prep Asian style. Cause you know, I love Asian food. Obviously I'm Asian. So um, especially like, well, I love any kind of Asian food. I love Vietnamese, I love Chinese, I love Thai. But um, you know, with prep, like when I prep my meals before, it was really hard to do. Well, it wasn't really hard, but I just did mainly like, you know, the usual, like, I don't want to say like, white food a white style you know like um ground turkey you know asians don't really eat that you know ground chicken or like chicken breast well we eat chicken breast for sure but you know what i mean right like you know stuff like that so um i kind of incorporate a lot of um asian style cooking into my meal preps like i do a lot of stir fries but you know with like low sodium soy soy sauce and like less of the sauces but still like a stir fry because I, I'm so used to it and I love eating it with rice. I love my rice. So, um, you know, brown rice, white rice, quinoa, I love all that. I love my carbs. So, um, yeah. So anyways, to make a long story short, today I'm going to do a uh, meal prep Asian style and I will show you what I usually do. Anyway, I just came back from the gym and I had my protein shake and I had a little snack. So I'm good to go. I'm going to cook this really quickly because I've got to head out right away. But um, here it goes. So for the protein, we're going to have uh, bassa fillets, and these are really, really inexpensive. These were, these were frozen, and I thought them yesterday night. So yeah, these for this much, it was about $6 and something cents. So these are really good. It's a really good protein. And then for veggies, I have green, green beans all cut up and washed and ready to go. And so are these. So to keep with the Asian theme, I got some, I think these are baby, I don't know what they're called. I think they're baby bok choys or... I don't know, but they're like the mini ones, so cute. I'm, um, I don't know. I think in Cantonese it's like choy sum. I think, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Anyways, we got like some Asian veggies, and then I'm, I have a little bit of the white soft tofu. I love tofu, love love tofu. So that's gonna be our meal, my meal. I mean, and then for the sauce, this is the yummy part. I have light soy sauce. Um, here's cilantro and green onions. And this is ginger and garlic. Usually, um, well, I, I was looking for ginger, but then they didn't have any left. So this is what they had. So I got it and I'm too lazy to cut up like real ginger to mince real ginger. But um, this is for the sauce that's going to go on top of that. But yeah, so I'm going to start cooking. That's all you need. So simple. I always use um, this cooking spray, of course. But you know, whatever's cheap, this is the cheapest from Costco and then I just spray it. I'm gonna do my veggies first, like always. Here's a little bit of garlic. Don't wanna burn that. So then I'm gonna pour in my green beans. And like with um, all my veggies, how I usually cook it is without any um, salt or any sauces. Sometimes I'll do like salt and pepper, but usually I just use garlic, honestly. You like, I don't really need to add any extra seasoning or sauces because I just like it the way it is already and it's already yummy with just the cooking oil spray and the garlic. For this uh, veggie, I'll just call it baby bok choy. I don't know what it's really called, but I'll just call it baby bok choy, all right? So for the baby bok choy, I like to um, put a little bit of water first, just kind of like steam it, cook it first so it, it's faster than just standing here and like stir frying it like forever until it cooks. That's what I find, and I'm really lazy, and I've got to go, so this is how I do it. So I put a little bit of water, just kind of like steam it. Um, usually with the lid, it's good, but I can't find a lid right now, and I can't be bothered to, so I'm not gonna. Um, so I, I'm doing half because my pot is, my pot, my pan is too small. I have a bigger one, but I'm, like, I get, like I said, I'm really lazy to go get it, even though it's like five steps away, and I work out, I know. So I'm going to do it in twos, because I have way too much. But yeah, that is me. And I don't care so it's kind of cooking and then I'm gonna after this I'm gonna fry them stir fry them with the garlic as always um, and I always have a little bit of like fresh garlic here because my mother-in-law always has it for me for some reason I don't know why well my future mother-in-law I guess she always has that but which is good for me you know so I don't have to like mince garlic because I hate doing that so that is that Steam, steam, steam away. And then I'm gonna take this out and then do that. Same thing with that. And then I'm gonna fry them. Ah! Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, honey. What you doing? I did, I did. 
Hey, why are you take my head down for? Give it back. Hi. <laughs> You're gonna break it. That's my only headband left. Okay. Oh. Are you scared? Another thing I wanted to mention is that, um, especially like at, I don't want to, you know, knock my own peoples, but uh, I find that at Asian grocery stores, they don't really wash the veggies that well. So you have to really wash the veggies. Like I freaking like quadrupled, I think like, how do you say five times? Sink. I don't know. But anyways, I quadrupled plus one um, washed my veggies because it was so dirty. Like every time there'd still be like little dirt particles floating even like now when I did it on the stove so I'm triple washing it again so a total of like eight times I don't know how many oct oct wash I don't know <laughs> but um yeah so just a little tip you gotta wash especially from the Asian grocery stores my people do not like to wash they're lazy like me see once you wash the veggies and you like kind of cook them with the water you can just like fry them really, really, really quickly because they're, they're pretty much already cooked, right? The veggies and just fry them really quickly with garlic and you're good to go. Like that's my little tip for you guys. Where's my veggies? There's my little Aves playing again. So yeah, see, they're pretty much cooked already, right? Now I just want to like fry them some more with uh, a little bit more with some garlic flavor, right? So seriously, it's like just put them in for like, ah, it's hard with one hand, but yeah, I just like fry it for like, you know, 20 seconds and that's it. And with my tofu, I like to do the same thing. Just put a little bit of water in here and kind of like cook it like that. I'm not going to fry my tofu ah! because I like it um, kind of like as is fresh, pure and pure form, I think. I don't know. This is just what I do. <laughs> well, this is how I eat it in hot pot. So I figured this is how I'm going to cook it, you know. And that's it for tofu. So my laziness kind of backfired because I had to go get a bigger pan for my fish. So here it is. And I just sprayed um, a little bit of my cooking spray on here and just letting it heat up. And I'm just going to pan fry it because usually I would um, steam it or oven it, bake it. But um, like I said, I'm really pressed for time. It's 634. I have to finish everything by like... 6:45, so I have like 11 minutes but um, you're gonna pan fry it that's the quickest way and as long as you know you don't use too much oil it's all good and I can afford you know a little bit of oil a little bit of fat um, yeah can you even see the fish is it even in the frame I don't know but So this whole time I'm standing here waiting for my fish to fry and I'm like, holy crap, this fish must be real fat because it's taking forever to cook. And then I realized, like seriously, after like six minutes that, oh my goodness, that um, my heat is that low because I turned it down earlier for something and I totally forgot to turn it up. So I've been standing here like an idiot waiting for my fish to fry and I was like, why is it taking so freaking long? It always happens when I'm freaking in a rush and I'm freaking pressed for time. It happens to me all the time, but it's slowly, it was slowly cooking, but now hopefully it's gonna cook fast because I've gotta go. That's what they look like when they're all cooked. So my fish, that's what I hate about frying, like especially white fish. Um, I don't have a problem with salmon, but white fish, what the, the white fish, it, it um, breaks up really easily. Um, so yeah, I would suggest baking them or steaming. So, um, but yeah, like I said, I had no time, so I had to fry them really quickly. Uh, but that's okay because I can just um, split them up into my containers, or I can weigh them out if you know you really, really want it specifically proportioned. You can weigh them out. And then there's the green beans with garlic, and the baby bok choy with garlic, and then the tofu I just kind of like boiled, steamed, and there's that. And then I'm gonna make the sauce mostly light soy sauce and then a little bit of water because I like to water my soy sauce down some more even though it's light soy sauce and then I'm gonna add um, a little bit of Splenda and I know that Stevia or like whatever all those Truvia whatever uh, is better like for an artificial sweetener but this is all I have on hand and you know if you want to buy me some Stevia then send it to me all right this is all I got so this is all I got to work with. 
but I'm um, gonna add a little bit at a time and I just have the stove on low and then stir it it says to taste you know it should be like a, a really light sweet soy sauce taste and then of course I'm gonna add my cilantro and green onion that I cut up earlier here's the sauce all done um, sorry I can not show you because I can not really use one hand to film and one hand to do it but basically like I said it's soy sauce water sugar well um, artificial sweetener I mean and then the minced ginger and garlic and then the green onions and cilantro and then I also cut up um, a few red chili peppers the thai chili peppers in here for a little kick and i like it spicy so this is the sauce it's so good you just have to taste it um and add as you go because it's hard to have measurements and you know it depends what you like some people like it sweeter some people like it saltier you know just do it to your own taste but here's the sauce for my prepped meal i had enough for four full ones and then i had like a little bit left over of everything so i did a mini one that'll be like a snack or mini meal but anyway so here we have um the bassa filet bassa fish tofu and then baby bok choy and green beans so that's my prepped meal for today i mean for this week i mean and then the sauce right there it's um to go over the fish uh, when I eat but I'm, I'm not gonna pour right now of course so um I just like for me I eat my meals at home so it's okay I'm just gonna put that in a container and then when I heat these up I'll you know I'll spoon it in and heat it up I mean and then uh, but if you know if you were to go to work or school or whatever um, if you need to bring it on the go um, I would pack these in little um, containers that they sell you know at the dollar store or you know wherever Walmart and then just stick it in here too or on the side or something you know just, just push it over and you have room for a little container of sauce so that's how i would pack it if i had to but anyway so here's my prepped meal for this week it's just fish and veggies and i i have a huge appetite like i can eat so i like to kind of fill up um volume you know on the veggies so i can be full so I can feel full so yeah I stock up on mostly veggies and then you know there's my protein and tofu is a little bit of protein here's the meal for this week um like I said this is not all my meals you know it's just for whenever I'm lazy or hungry and I just need to eat and this is a healthy alternative right and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed my meal prep this week 